What if I told you that scientists have just demonstrated a device that generates electricity directly from the Earth's own magnetic field, powered only by the planet's rotation? Sounds impossible, right? For nearly two centuries, the physics community believed this couldn't be done. The legendary Michael Faraday even investigated it in the 1830s and declared it impossible. And for generations, textbooks have repeated the verdict, Earth's rotation through its own magnetic field can't be used to make power. But in March 2025, a peer-reviewed experiment published in Physical Review Research by Christopher Chiba, Kevin Hand, and Thomas Chiba overturned that assumption. They didn't just theorize it. They built a working apparatus that produced a continuous, measurable electric voltage and current from Earth's rotation. For the first time, they measured a tiny but steady voltage of about 17 microvolts, producing a current of around 25 nanoamperes. That's roughly four microwatts of power. They did it using a small shielded 30 centimeter long hollow metal cylinder about a centimeter wide. In this video, we'll dive into the science behind this world first demonstration, how the experiment was designed, why it works when Faraday thought it couldn't, and where this technology could and couldn't take us. We'll also revisit Faraday's original attempt and see how this new result rewrites a tiny piece of physics history. Stick around, because this is one of those impossible made real stories that changes how we understand the world. And if you enjoy deep dives into real scientific breakthroughs, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Let's get started. The basic idea comes from electromagnetic induction. Move a conductor through a magnetic field and you get an electric current. Every generator you've ever seen works on this principle. But the Earth's magnetic field seems different. Because we rotate together with the planet, there's no obvious relative motion between us and the field, so no induction. That's what Faraday concluded in the 1830s, and his experiments with solid conductors confirmed it. His reasoning was mathematically sound, but it was only valid for certain geometries. In 2016, Chiba and Han published a controversial theoretical paper showing that if you use a hollow conducting shell instead of a solid one, the assumptions in Faraday's argument no longer apply. Under the right conditions, Earth's rotation should induce a measurable electromotive force. Many physicists were skeptical, and a 2017 attempt to detect the effect came up empty. The 2025 experiment was designed to eliminate those flaws and conclusively answer the question. The team built a hollow, right cylindrical shell made of manganese zinc, ferrite, a material with a low magnetic Reynolds numbers, allowing the magnetic field to penetrate while reducing electrical noise. The cylinder was 30 centimeters long with a diameter of just over one centimeter and it was precisely oriented so its axis was perpendicular to both Earth's magnetic field and the local velocity vector from Earth's rotation. The shell was carefully shielded from ambient electromagnetic interference and thermoelectric effects. The researchers also accounted for the exact local magnetic field and the Earth's rotation speed at their latitude to predict the expected output. The device produced a steady, measurable DC voltage of about 17 microvolts and a current of about 25 nanoamperes, equivalent to a power output of roughly 4 nanowatts. That's tiny, a billion times smaller than a typical phone charger, but the signal matched theoretical predictions for both magnitude and direction. The output varied exactly as expected when the cylinder's orientation was changed. It dropped to zero when aligned, parallel to the rotation axis, reverse sign when rotated 180 dig, and peaked when perpendicular. To rule out local anomalies, they repeated the experiment at a completely different location, and the results were consistent. Several control experiments confirmed the effect's dependence on geometry and material properties. A solid ferrite cylinder, same size, same material, produced no measurable voltage at any orientation, just as Faraday predicted. Likewise, a hollow shell made of a material with a high magnetic Reynolds number preventing magnetic penetration also produced no effect. 
These controls confirm that both the hollow geometry and the magnetic properties of the material are essential for harvesting power from Earth's rotation. Michael Faraday's 1830s experiments were pioneering, but they use solid conductors, exactly the geometry that produces no current in this scenario. His conclusion was correct for that case, but it missed the possibility that a hollow conductor could behave differently. The new experiment doesn't contradict Faraday's mathematics. It sidesteps it. It's a reminder that even well-settled science can hold surprises when you change the boundary conditions. Let's be clear. This is not going to power cities. Even if you scaled up the cylinder, the output would remain extremely small because Earth's magnetic field is weak, and the effect depends on subtle interactions inside the material. But for ultra-low power applications, like autonomous sensors, remote instruments, or space probes in planetary magnetic fields, a source that never needs refueling could be valuable. The paper's authors note that the next step is for other labs to reproduce the results. If confirmed, future research could explore optimized geometries and materials to maximize output. Whether or not it becomes practical technology, the demonstration itself is historic. The first experimental proof that electricity can be generated directly from Earth's rotation through its own magnetic field. In their paper, they mention the following. If our results were corroborated, then the path would be open to investigate whether this effect could be scaled to produce useful electrical power. The 2025 Kaiba Han Chaiba experiment is not the end of the story. It's a starting point. Somewhere, right now, another lab is building their own ferrite shell to see if they can catch this whisper-faint signal from the spinning Earth. And maybe, just maybe, they'll find a way to make it stronger. If we can learn to tap into this hidden current, who knows what other impossible energies we might one day harness. So here's what I want to know. If you had a device that could harvest even a tiny trickle of power forever, where would you use it? Could this work on Mars or near Jupiter, where magnetic fields are stronger? And do you think scientists will ever find a way to scale this up to useful levels, or is it destined to remain a scientific curiosity? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So, what do you think? And what other impossible effects might still be hiding in plain sight, waiting for the right experiment? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you found this as mind-bending as I did, give the video a like and subscribe for more deep dives into real scientific breakthroughs. And if you know someone who still thinks Faraday's verdict was the last word on this, share this with them. They might be in for a surprise.